Greetings and Unifriends and welcome back to the channel and on today's episode I will be showing you guys how to make this lovely DIY unicorn wand and that was Keisha yawning in the background just so you know. This is very exciting because this tutorial here is for the third garnet unitask and the first inner circle over in unicoven and for those of you guys who are unaware of what unicoven is it is a community that is the sister coven of the hatchling clan so you go to the hatchling clan to meet fellow hatchlings and learn something new and to kind of participate in our community over there but you go over to unicoven to actively practice with us we host guided meditations and group ceremonies and rituals and spells and events and all sorts of activities that we do over there and for an in-depth description of how to make this wand as well as how you can share your experience in crafting your wand with us in order to advance to the citrine inner circle which is the second inner circle within the inner circles over at unicoven how many times have i said inner circles in this intro is a little ridiculous isn't it so if you my dear hatchling want to learn how to make this wand all by yourself and want a little bit more description on how to do so, then click the link down below to the blog post and it will tell you everything you need to know on how to make this more in-depth as well as a ritual that goes along with like blessing it and getting it ready for actual magical use and a template for you to use to blog about your own experience and share your crafting and creative process with us over there. So all that information is of course always linked down below for you and if you are new here marry me and welcome my name is Sarah and I make new videos every week and they're magical. If you have not already don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss an upload hopefully. You are curious and fascinated and wish to see how to make this magical, mystical, crazy unicorn wand, then please keep watching. So to start you want to get a stick that you found on the ground and you want it to match up with your elbow socket to the tip of your middle finger. That's about the length you're looking for. You'll need a knife and the way you want to cut it here as I'm demonstrating on screen, on screen is starting from the hilt of the knife to the tip of the knife going down the wand. Always cut away from you and decide if you want to cut the whole wand, if you want to carve the bark off of all of it or keep it on for a handle in some places or if you just want to sand the bark down, it's really up to you. I personally chose to choose the length of the handle that I want and keep the bark on for the handle and then carve off the rest of it with my knife and this can take a long time this took me about a half an hour and this is a very very small stick so i wanted a dainty small one because it's like a unicorn wand but if you wanted to have a bigger wand this may take you a little bit longer but once you are done it'll look a little something like this or however you decided to do so and then next you're going to need some sandpaper so this is just to get rid of all the rough edges from when we cut the wand to make it ready for painting because you don't want to get a splinter while you're painting it now do you so after you have sanded it go ahead and paint it i chose to paint the base with white and after i got a really good even coat of white on i went in with some very light pink and just kind of blended that in while the white paint was still wet. Now I really liked how this turned out so I decided to add some purple into it as well to um, blend it all together still while the paint was wet. It was very important that the white and the pink was wet or it would not look so blended together. So that is what the top part of my wand looks like and now we're going to paint the hilt. So I wanted to give it a very much like black like undercoat i didn't want the whole thing to be black but i just wanted that like base coat to be black and then i painted some um, of the earlier colors mixed with white so really really pastel pink and purple onto the hilt in little places here and there before i decided to paint some little like detailed speckles on with some black paint just to give it a little bit more of a darker look because i wanted the handle to be so much darker and so much more noticeable than the top part of the wand i don't know so anyway after that i took some clear like orange sparkly nail polish and painted that all over the pink part of the wand and this was just to give it more depth more shine it's a really nice coat on top of it as well 
and it's a very pretty glossy finish and the like champagne orange color here and there is a really really nice touch and looks super magical super unicorn style so after i had the hilt of the wand dry or the handle of the wand i painted over very 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 lightly with some clear silver paint i diluted it with water a lot so you can see the rest of underneath still a little bit and then i went back in with that pastel purple and pink paint and did dots everywhere and after i liked the amount of dots that i did i wanted to do the black dots on top to really kind of pop all of that on the handle so it looks dark but not too dark i didn't want it to be like a super dark colored wand but after that i added some like sparkles or like some stars on it with some white paint before i decided to be done with the painting and now we're moving on to the charm so i'm taking some wire and i'm holding the wire and wrapping like turning the wand as you can see on screen it's really fast but once i was done i just like fix little bits with my pliers and make sure that it's all secure then i'm going to take a o-ring and thread it through the wire and then go back around the way that it came so it's like a little loop around it and then it goes straight through the other side so you have like two loops going through your o-ring and it's like tightened in the back around it so it's very secure to attach a charm now once you have done that make sure that you wrap the rest of your wire around it to secure it even further it can be a little bit tedious of a process it took me about 15 20 minutes to like get this to work correctly and then once you have the rings ready to go it's just a matter of tucking it in and pulling it and tweaking it to get it to like stay and be sturdy so then add an extra o-ring to the charm and I'm adding some chain and once I add the chain I'm actually going to cut that chain in half to add a another little star charm in between so once I got the star charm hooked with both sides of the chain that we cut on it then I'm just going to add a unicorn chain a unicorn charm to the bottom so I add one hook between their horns and another one to connect the chain and that will be the finished wand pretty exciting huh Thank you so very very much for watching today's video i am very very excited to share this with you it's been a long time in the making and i am so very happy with how this dainty little wand turned out it is going to be perfect for all of my unicorn work and all my healing magic and all of my imagination magic and such and so forth that falls along into the category of unicoven's practices if you have not clicked that link below if you have not checked out the blog post for how to create this wand more in depth with the ceremony the ritual and the template for your blog post included then what are you doing it's linked down below for you don't forget to check it out as we all work very hard to put this together for you so i really do hope that you enjoy this video don't forget to leave on the like on the video if you want to see more content like this and leave a comment down below on what is it your favorite wand what kind of wand do you want to see next or how do you make your own wand because we would all love to know and we would all love to see your experiences down below that being said i'm gonna get on out of here and make some magic over in unicoven so i'll catch you later i'll catch you over there my beautiful darling hatchlings and unifriends but until next time my darlings i love you so much and stay kiki 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 little hatchlings <laughs> blessed be in by my loves Mwah.